Ash Wednesday Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. This day's Gospel is from Matthew 6 1-6, 16-18. Take heed that you do not your justice before men, to be seen by them, otherwise you shall not have a reward of your Father who is in heaven. Therefore when thou dost an alms deed, sound not a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be honored by men. Amen I say to you, they have received their reward. But when thou dost alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doth. That thy alms may be in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret will repay thee. And when ye pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites, that love to stand and pray in the synagogues and corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Amen I say to you, they have received their reward. But thou when thou shalt pray, enter into thy chamber, and having shut the door, pray to thy Father in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret will repay thee. And when you fast, be not as the hypocrites, sad. For they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Amen I say to you, they have received their reward. But thou, when thou fastest anoint thy head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not to men to fast, but to thy Father who is in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret, will repay thee. This is the Gospel of the Lord. On this Ash Wednesday, the Gospel is focusing on the following. 1. Motivation for Righteous Acts Jesus warns against practicing righteousness for the sake of being seen by others, emphasizing that the ultimate reward comes from God. 2. Giving to the needy Acts of charity and giving to the needy should be done discreetly without seeking recognition or praise from others. The emphasis is on genuine compassion and not on public display. 3. Prayer Jesus advises against praying in a way that seeks attention. Instead, he encourages private prayer, emphasizing a personal and sincere connection with God. And 4. Fasting Similar to giving and praying, fasting should not be done for public approval. Instead, individuals are encouraged to maintain a positive outward appearance while fasting, keeping it between themselves and God. Overall, today's Gospel emphasizes the importance of sincerity, humility, and genuine devotion in one's religious practices, contrasting with the empty displays of righteousness for public recognition. The focus is on the inner attitude and the relationship with God rather than seeking the approval or admiration of others. So let us pray. Dear God, as we seek to live out the teachings of today's Gospel, grant us the grace to practice righteousness with sincerity. May our acts of giving be prompted by genuine compassion, free from the desire for recognition. In our prayers, help us find solace in the quiet communion of our hearts with you, rather than seeking the approval of others. As we fast, let our motives be pure, focused on drawing closer to you rather than gaining the admiration of the world. May our actions be a reflection of our love for you, seeking your reward in the secret places of our devotion. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.